all welcome to the web application pen testing course on pen tester academy now in the previous videos we've looked at the very simple uh, the initial version of the digest authentication now let's look at http digest authentication as in rfc 2617 uh, which is really much more security enhanced so what is the key difference well 2617 adds client based nonces as well which help in mitigating chosen plain text attacks now from a pure implementation perspective we also have an additional field called qop or quality of protection now qop is auth for just authentication and auth hyphen int for authentication and integrity but truth be told almost most installations still only support qop in auth mode so how does this look like from a sample server client exchange so this is taken directly from rfc 2617 and when the client first initiates the request to access a resource which requires authorization then the server again sends back the www authenticate header uh, the mode is digest realm you already know what that is qop basically the option supported so auth comma auth hyphen int which is what we just spoke about and then you have the nonce and the opaque right just like in the previous case now after this the client looks at qop Uh, and as i said in most cases says hey i only support auth so it picks up and this is the response from the client it picks up uh, the non stopic and all of that and basically goes ahead and creates a digest response the realm remains the same the nonce remains the same uh, the opaque remains the same and qop is what it supports which is auth as we can see URI is actually the resource path uh, which basically we were trying to access NC is very very simply put just a counter and C nonce is the client nonce and then it computes a response now as complicated as this looks in reality it is really very very simple now based on what we saw previously uh, hash1 and hash2 are computed exactly in the same way so hash1 is an md5 of the username colon realm colon password while hash2 is an md5 of the method colon uri the only change is in how the response is calculated which is an md5 of hash1 colon the nonce which was the server nonce which was sent colon the nonce count which is basically the nc field if you remember which was really you know 000001 followed by the client nonce which basically is the c nonce followed by the qop which is auth in this case and then finally hash2 so we concatenate all of this take an md5 and that is what is the response uh in this case now i have given you a sample wireshark uh file which you can open the link is down below in the video this is how the file should look like you can go ahead and add a filter for http and basically you can open the 304 not moved response right click and say follow tcp stream and you would basically find that the client sends the authorization header uh, with digest username vivek realm pen tester hyphen academy and a bunch of other stuff which we have discussed right now so what you need to do as an exercise here is you need to go ahead and calculate the response based on all of these parameters using these equations now i have already taught you how to do it so i'm just going to quickly run you through uh, how to do it in the slides and you can try it on your own 
Now, the important thing is, uh, you know, I've been using Python quite a lot to solve many of these. However, please note that I'm using Python 2.7. Uh, Kali has 2.7.3 to be precise. And as one of my students uh, went ahead and mentioned, right, uh, Thomas mentioned that if you go ahead and use Python 3, this specific syntax does not work. And the reason is Python 3 uh, really is a bit different in a lot of ways from a syntactual perspective. So you will have to figure out the appropriate libraries and how to call them in order to make this work with Python 3. We will be using Python 273, which is what ships with default with Kali Linux, right? Keep that in mind. Okay, so the first part of the calculation, uh, hash one, MD5 of username, realm, and password. So I import hashlib, I compute MD5, the username is Vivek, if you look at the PCAP file, realm is pentester hyphen academy, and after that, the password, which I'm using is pentester academy, single word. I take a hex digest and this becomes hash one. Hash two is an MD5 of the method and URI. Again, in this case, hash two is very simple to calculate, get colon slash, here is hash two. Finally, the response is a concatenation of hash one, server nonce, nonce count, client nonce, QOP and hash two. Now we've already computed hash one and hash two. And here is what I've done from the Wireshark trace file. I've copied the nonce. I've copied the nonce count, the client nonce, QOP, and then I've created the response string by concatenating all of these quantities separated by colon, right? After that, I just go ahead and compute an MD5 over the concatenated string and we get the response. If you compare it with the response in the Wireshark trace file, you would see that it identically matches, right? 9447, 9447, blah, 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 2390, 2390, right? So really this is how you would go ahead and compute the response in this case. So the key thing really which I wanted to mention here uh, was the fact that there are many, many ways with which you can do things. One of them, of course, as I've shown you, is with Python. And so I think after this, pretty much uh, HTTP digest authentication, the one basic one which we took up in the last couple of videos, the one with QOP equal to auth should be totally clear. Uh, I leave it as an exercise to you to look at QOP equal to auth hyphen int. There's just one small modification in the response creation, but again, it's probably simple enough. Uh, and as I mentioned, auth hyphen int, which is authentication and integrity, both checks uh, are currently hardly used by many clients. So uh, that's all I had in mind for this video. Now, I have a small request to make of all of you. If you like what you see in Pentester Academy, please do recommend to your friends and colleagues at work and otherwise. Uh, I've been putting in my heart and soul into this uh, you know, website right now. And I think this can be a success only if we have a large number of members. So I'd really request if you like Pentester Academy, uh, the videos which we put out and you know, you're enjoying your experience, please do recommend. I would really appreciate that. Thanks a lot, guys, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.